Welcome, welcome, Thank Martin. Thank you, Amy. Um, you are a speaker at this year's African Utility Week conference. Um, can you tell me more about what you will be speaking about at the conference? Sure. Um, the theme of our presentation is to help utilities understand how they can manage some of the challenges around what we refer to as consumer uh, growth around their grid. Specifically, it refers to some of the opportunities and challenges utilities face in the growth of distributed renewable generation. For utilities, uh, these renewable growths present challenges around power intermittency uh, and for the utilities, the distribution companies in particular, they need to look at how they develop smarter solutions and platforms to manage that growth. But what we want to share with the audience is the fact that utilities can also embrace this changing business model and provide new opportunities and new revenue streams for themselves as they deliver new services for their customers. Okay. Um, can you touch maybe on those new revenue streams and maybe the role of that big data plays in, this, in the new uh, transition? For sure. So technology is an important part of the transition that utilities will embark on. Um, it provides them with the kind of uh, capabilities to have better real-time understanding of what's happening in their distribution systems. Allied to the technology is the need to be able to manage in real time significant increases in the amount of data. And it's that data and the ability to be able to analyze it that provides the utilities with visibility in terms of what's happening in their distribution system. But it also provides information on energy use, customer profiling, customer needs. And the data allows them to react with new types of products and service offerings to meet the growing expectations and needs of their customers. And touching on that, do you think that Africa as a market is ready for that data diluge? Do we do do you think they do we think do you think that they're capable or you know, more are ready for that? For big data? I, I do. I think uh, the growth of distributed renewable solutions uh, is an ideal platform for much of the African continent to consider. Uh, it allows utilities to look at extending energy and electricity reach into remote areas without the need for extensive transmission rollouts and, and extensive capital programs. Um, it provides the ability to do those in a very cost-effective way. Uh, managed properly, it allows the utility to grow significant number of community-based renewable initiatives and then use those as virtual community-based power plants to drive future growth. So considering that large amounts of the continent are still without power, uh, renewable, distributed renewable solutions, uh, community and home-based uh, uh, energy solutions including rooftop solar provides a wonderful opportunity to extend energy into communities quickly. That's been a key message throughout the conference hasn't it? Um, the idea of distributed generation, um, improving energy access um, through, through uh, uh, distributed uh, energy resources. Um, can you tell me a bit about what Oracle offers utilities? Um, maybe in the African context um, to help them with that? So I mentioned early on, uh, one of the challenges distribution companies will face is managing the intermittency associated with distributed renewable energies. Uh, this requires the utilities to look at advanced outage and network management systems. And Oracle is in a wonderful position to be able to work with utilities around driving advanced network management solutions. First of all, to look at managing the remote and uh, distributed grid capabilities of renewable, and then integrating those solutions into the overall management of the traditional distribution system. So it's a combination of looking at our advanced network management capabilities and integrating our real-time data analytics to provide visibility in terms of what's happening in the grid. Okay. Um, and then I want to ask you, um, what is your view on the most appropriate technologies for utilities um, in, in light of distributed generation, would be metering, are there any other smart grid technologies that you can advise? So uh, um, a smart meter centric mm -hmm. approach uh, is a very sensible adoption. Mm -hmm. um, it provides you with the ability 
to have sensors and technologies in your grid system that manage, uh, that provide you with the capabilities to understand what's going on. Um, so it is the case that in many situations, management of distributed energy grids, including microgrids, uh, has, a, has a strong dependency on, uh, on meter-centric uh, solutions. And then the combination of your smart metering and all the other smart technologies that distribution companies are using uh, with uh, the advanced distribution management system capabilities provides them with the real-time understanding of what's happening in their network. So absolutely, a meter-centric approach has a lot of advantages in terms of accelerating the way distribution companies can meet the challenges of, of renewable technologies. Okay. Martin, thank you so much for speaking with us today. My pleasure. Um, it was great having you. Thank, thank you, you again. Amy. Um, this is Amy Ryan, Deputy Editor of Metering and Smart Energy International, coming to you from the Africa Utility Week studio. Thank you.